This video is on the Silver Gar. What's up guys? I am in the other fish room here, uh, giving you some progress updates. Uh, I'm with Avery as well. There's, there's pretty much junk everywhere in this room, so don't judge me. Um, I did set up a rack. This is my 90 acrylic. I have some 10 set up. This is uh, a, a, a fluval tank here, and I do have a. It's gonna be a. T it's gonna be a tight squeeze in this setup. So, um, I have a 150 gallon acrylic here in the corner, and you can see how close it is to the water heater. Uh, I know it looks small, but it's really not. This tank, um, I gotta aquascape it, so don't judge me. I have a goldfish in there, making sure everything's cycling properly. Um, he's been in there for a couple weeks now. Everything's good to go, and I had I I threw together a stand for some triple 29 gallon tanks. Um, so the fish room is coming together quite well. Um, I do have room for a bunch more. Uh, this is just going to be an entire wall full of tanks, probably mainly 75s. But anyhow, today's video is about the Silver Gar. A bunch of people have been sending me uh, questions regarding the Silver Gar, and essentially it's called a freshwater barracuda. Um, I'm not sure if I agree with the, the terminolo terminology on that, but um, I, if you've learned anything about this industry, if they can throw a name on something and hope to sell it, uh, they will do it. So, um, let's talk about this fish. Uh, some people have sent me some video, and I'll flip the I'll flip the cam, show you the video. Uh, some cool pictures. What's kind of weird about this fish is I, what, what, what? I did a I did a bunch of research, and what's weird about this fish is. Some guides say this fish grows like three feet long, and others say it only grows like a foot long. So, um, I, it's weird because with all the research and with some in-depth searching on Facebook groups, I cannot find anyone keeping these fish at a pretty good size. It seems to be all juveniles. And uh, anyways, let's flip the cam and take a look at some video. All right, so let's talk about this fish. This is a super cool fish. They're commonly called the Hujeta gar, the rocket gar, the needlefish, the silver gar, uh, silver pike, and obviously the somewhat funny one, the barracuda. Uh, I think that's kind of just a selling point, but I find that these fish are usually super thin and kind of looking sickly because they are carnivores and people are trying to feed them like crappy pellets and so forth. But really they're a tough fish to feed because they're carnivores and they're they're mainly going to want like small little breeder guppies and that's tough to keep up with and a lot of people don't do it as you can see here this one looks really rough there and this one looks super thin almost deathly but um these are these are from the waters of south america and they prefer slower moving waters and uh, guys, like I said, I scoured the web to try to find some pictures of some bigger fish, and I have not come across any. So, this is maybe one of those kind of sucky fish to keep because they're pretty uh, tough to feed and finicky, and I'm guessing it's a somewhat uh, tough fish to grow out, and uh, it sucks, but it's just the truth of the matter. So cool looking fish if any of you guys have videos on these you should send them to me or not videos but just keep them send me photos 